the former governor of Kaduna State, Nasser Rufai, on Sunday triggered mixed reactions from Nigerians who believe he has a presidential ambition ahead of 2027 general elections. Erufai, who was replaced by Habers by Larry B as a minister in Tinubu's cabinet after failing to pass the Senate screening, triggered the mixed reactions when he visited the former president, Olishigo Basenjo, at his Abiyokuta home in Ogun State on Sunday, December 24th. Prior to yesterday, the former Kaduna governor had visited the country's former leaders this December. He had visited the former president, Muhammad Buhari, on the 11th of December 2023. On the 14th of December 2023, Erufai also visited the former president, Ibrahim Babangida. Owing to the fact that it has almost become a norm for presidential aspirants to pay this visit to the country's past leaders before declaring their presidential ambitions. Erufai's recent gestures set the Nigerian online space abuse yesterday. So one said, Erufai is definitely going to contest against Tunubu and might end up removing him from office in 2027. James Maro, a social political commentator, said the 2027 race will be very interesting. Erufai is apparently cooking something and is 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 smiling nice is smelling nice. We hope Tunubu is prepared though. Hmm. Erufai can never betray Tunubu like that. The question is under which party is it coming from? I hope he is not strategizing for 2027 to challenge BAT. Political movement, Ben Jagaban is above them and he will put them where they belong. We are watching you know, that time will come. Photos from the visit were shared by the former Kaduna State Governor on Sunday. His caption to the photos read, Sunday updates, earlier today, I visited my boss. The former president, Tolishi Guobasanjo, welcomed me and my friends in his Abiyokuta home. We were hosted to a sumptuous lunch by Mrs. Obasanjo, for which we are very grateful. Back to base for Christmas, Isha Hala. Record that period to his replacement, the former governor had reportedly withdrawn his interest in being part of President Bola Tinubu's cabinet. According to Premier Times, Presidency source said Mr. Erufai told President Tinubu at a meeting that he was no longer interested in becoming a minister, but would continue to contribute his quarter to the development of Nigeria as a private citizen. He also told the president that he needed time to focus on his doctorate program at a university in the Netherlands, one of our sources said. Hmm. Meanwhile, in another news headline, Nigerian DSS and police receives powerful message to arrest the former president of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari. In a recent revelation, the presidential candidate of the African Action Congress, AAC, Omoyele Shuwari, has ignited controversy by assenting that from Nigerian, the former Nigerian president, Muhammad Buhari, should have faced arrest in light of an extensive investigation into financial fraud allegedly involving the ex-governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBM. A special investigation panel uh, taxed with scrutinizing the tenor of MFLA uncovered several deeming findings related to fraudulent activities during his leadership at the Apis Bank. Among the accusations in is the claim that Buhari did not approve the Naira redesign policy, causing significant economic hardship in the early months of 2023. The investigation also brought to light that Kingstone Bank 
was acquired under a MFLS supervision without proper payment evidence. Rising concerns about the uh, transparency and legality of the acquisition. In response to these revelations, Shiwari took to Twitter on Saturday to express his dissatisfaction with the ap apparent lack of accountability in Nigerian politics. He argued that politicians constantly evade consequences for their actions, asserting that Buhari should have fixed detention in a more reasonable scenario. According to Shuari, they protected this crook because he was doing their bidding. Today, he is left to become the fall guy. Tunde Sabiu opened an airline. He owns the, the biggest oil haul lake ship based in the Niger Delta region. The official EFCC even told Pat last week, Wednesday, that the former AGF, Abubakar Malami, stole so much that even a rocky investigator found so much money he, he lodged, they, they are overwhelmed. Shawari's commentary reflects a broader sentiment of frustration with perceived a perceived impunity among politicians, suggesting a systematic issue in Nigerians' political landscape. The mention of individuals allegedly involved in financial impropriety adds a layer of complicity to the narrative underscoring the interconnected nature of corruption within the country. So guys, let's hear from you. What's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.